Well, it's that time. It is that time. We'll see who's jumping on. And today's been a crazy day, right? How crazy is the weather out there? Man, uh, you know, early this morning when I looked outside, the, the sun was out and I was like, wow, today's going to be a gorgeous day. And then somebody, I was uh, dropping off a good friend to the airport and he said, oh man, I, I heard there's going to be some snow. And I was like, wow, this beautiful weather can turn into what it is right now drastically. But that's what weather does, right? Um, and because life does that. Life has things, life brings changes every day and all day. If you're blessed or fortunate to have just a great day of clear skies, just be grateful for it. Just appreciate it because it's not going to be like that every day. You got to be prepared for different things. You got to be prepared for the good weather. You got to be prepared for the bad weather. And you got to be, you know, sometimes bad. Now, what I want to say is this. When it's sunny outside, right? You're in a good mood. You're feeling good. You put on more comfortable clothes. You're like, man, this is, this is, how good does it feel to say, man, this is shorts weather. This is t-shirt weather. You know, I'm an islander. I grew up on the islands. It's good to put on some slippers today, you know, or no shoes at all for the most part. But think about that. The weather changes. And as the weather changes, so do we. Now, imagine this for a second, though. What if you decided that no matter what happened with the weather, you decided to celebrate that weather, to be grateful for it. See, sometimes the sun's out and, you know, you're happy. Oh, my gosh, the sun's out and then it starts raining. Oh, my God, the day's canceled. It's raining. We can't do nothing. What if you decided to dance in the rain? Hmm. <laughs> what about that? What about when it, there was, it was wet outside and you're like, you know what? I'm going to dance in the rain. Not saying to dance in all the rain, but you got to learn how to. See, that's a metaphor, you got to be prepared to make the best out of any and everything. You got to be able to find the goodness and the silver lining in any and everything. That is in life, relationships, business, family, health, everything. And not everybody does that. So I'll tell you what. So like in business, I always try to look for the highest possible potential or the silver lining in someone. Now, I wasn't always that way. I wasn't always that way. I used to be like, look at somebody and maybe see somebody who wasn't trying, who wasn't giving effort, who was being lazy, who was being weak, uh, who didn't take the time to learn the process. People like that. Oh, my gosh. I just I couldn't stand people who made excuses. I couldn't stand people who just couldn't get it done. And that is because I was raised in an environment where thriving Problem solving, overcoming, and finishing what you start was just, it just is what it, it, that's just what it was. And so becoming an adult, you start to look at so many different people from different backgrounds and, you know, what the belief system of where they were brought up at. You got to realize this in all areas, some people are stronger in some areas. Some people might be strong in a family category because they were brought up in a thriving family. Some may be for um, a gratitude and grateful and respect because that's the place they were brought up in. Some people believe in uh, work ethic and that's the way. Some people believe in strength. Some people believe in culture. Some people believe, whatever someone believes in, find the strength in that person. Some people may have a religious background. Some people may have families that are, uh, so many different things. But my point is, look for the good in every single person. Because inside of you, inside of me, there's something in me that is valuable, just the same way there's something inside of you that's valuable. But if you keep it inside and you never share it, how is ever, anyone ever going to experience the good that was, that's was that been planted in you since you were a child? If you just keep it all into yourself, nobody else gets it except you. 
And that brings me to a point. See, my point is this. See, it's not that you can't finish what you start. It's not that you can't be good at whatever you decide to do. It's not that your dreams are unattainable. It's not that the life that you want is that is ultimately meant for you is on the other side of work. It's, all those things are there. But the point is you. See, you're the missing component in everything. And if you're the missing component in everything, I want you to think about everywhere in your life, you take yourself there. Every single place. Whether it be about your philosophy for your health, for your wellness, for your finances, for your relationships, every single thing, for your spirituality, everywhere you go, there you are. So check this out. This is what I mean by that. If you're the type of person who gives 100%, you're going to give 100% everywhere you go, every single place you go. If you're not the type of person who gives 100%, you're not going to give 100% anywhere you go. If you're 100% in the gym, believe me, when you sign up for that gym, you didn't just sign out the paperwork like a lot of people, right? 95% of the people sign up for the gym and they never step foot in them. They drive past it. They look at the sign. They don't even know what the inside of the gym looks like. 95% of the people sign up for sports or something like that. And they don't go, right? How many people sign up to play golf when and got all the stuff? You went and told everybody you're going to do it. Oh, I'm golfing. You got all the equipment. You got the shoes. You got the outfit. But the day you went to go golf, the weather was bad. Bam. Golfing career over. You were going to start playing basketball again. Some of you used to hoop, right? I'm going to play, start playing basketball again. Went and got the shoes. Got the basketball. Got the pump. Got your wrist. Got everything you said you were going to use. Never went back out there. Why? Because the circumstances that happened the next day made you forfeit it. Some of you have a dream and you forfeited on your dream because it didn't come dressed up the way you wanted it to. See, what you thought was you were going to do a specific thing with your life. You thought you were going to be a certain type of person and be a specific person. And when it didn't happen, you decided that, oh, well, you know, it, did, it, doesn't, it didn't happen the way I wanted to. So I'm just going to just let time pass by and deteriorate. And then one day, the regret's going to be there staring you in the mirror. And the regret is your reflection because you didn't live up to your potential. You didn't live up to your possibility. You let your dream go because it didn't show up the way you wanted it to because the weather was bad that day, metaphorically speaking. So you decided not to go dance in the rain. But check this out now. What if you decided and made a decision to yourself and you just started to say, no matter what, no matter what, what if you told yourself that no matter what happens, no matter what day it is, no matter what time it is, no matter what the weather looks like, no matter who doesn't support you, no matter who doesn't believe in you, no matter what. You were going to finish what you started. You were going to be persistent. You were going to be consistent and you were going to get better. Let me tell you something. Anyone that does anything over a period of time and commits to it will get better. That's all I'm saying. So if you decided from this day forward that you were going to get better at whatever you said you wanted to do, wouldn't you be better by the end of this year? Wouldn't you be better off? This can be in all areas of your life. You can't make small improvements and then go backwards. You can't make small improvements and announce it every time. You can't make small improvements and yell from the top of the mountain and tell everybody how you made it, how you did it. No, listen, don't get on that emotional roller coaster. Don't get too high. Don't get too low. Just stay even, baby. Just stay even. Stay right there in the middle. Look around and observe the highs and the lows, but don't be emotional. Don't let it get in your head because you started off with a, pers a purpose and you have to finish what you started. You have to do what you said you were going to do long after the moment you said it in has passed. So when it's said and done, even when you don't want to do it, go do it anyway. Guess what? There are people that just want to eat great food but never want to go to the gym. But guess what? They eat great food and they go to the gym. Me. <laughs> there are people who don't want to get up and do personal development, who don't want to read, who don't want to get better. Because that day, maybe they decide to take off. Maybe they want to go hang out with their friends. Maybe they want to go do whatever. Do what adults do. Do what young people do. But you had to make the sacrifice. See, nothing comes without sacrifice. But see, we get to do it. Nothing in the universe gets to make a choice except us. 
See, when you wake up every single morning, you have the choice to pursue whatever it is you said you wanted or not. My question is this, and I'm going to end with this. What did you do today? What did you do today that would bring you one step closer to what you said you wanted? Just one thing. And if you didn't do anything today, and if you haven't done anything today, it is not done yet. You still have time. So listen, listen, take what I said to heart because I'm giving you what's inside of me. I can't leave it in me to the next day. I have to get rid of it. I got to give it to somebody else and I'm passing it on to you. So why don't you pay it forward and share this with somebody else? I tell you every single time, you didn't have to have this conversation. You didn't have to get this thing together, prepare this. All you have to do is share it with somebody else. Get them on the same page as you. Get them on the frequency that can cause them to be better. You never know that you could do something, say something, share something that will impact someone else. Give them a shift in their mindset. Elevate them and push them to the next level in their life. All because you cared enough just to give something that was given to you. I'm giving to you to this to you out of the kindness of my heart, out of the things that are inside of me because I'm compelled to do this. I don't know what inside me makes me do this, but, but you know what? I'm not afraid. I don't care what people think. It does not bother me because you know why? Someone's going to get something out of this. Eventually, someone's going to get something out of this and years from now, they're going to say, you know what? That guy changed my life. He made a difference that day because I was down and out and I wasn't thinking right. And he said something that flipped the switch for me, that made me do a 180 degrees and go in the direction that I, I was meant to go in. And for that, I will now pay it forward forever. So with that being said, that's my time. Share the information. I keep telling you guys to go on my YouTube channel. My YouTube subscribers are rising. But you know what? I know we can do so much better. And guess what? It will be because of amazing people like you as to why we get to 1 million followers. Trust me, we're going to be there. I can, we're going there, but only with your help. Thank you so much. Share this on I can, so, uh, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. Grab this. Share this. I promise you, someone else is going to be touched like this, touched by this video. Someone is going to be touched by the information. Someone is going to be compelled to do something that it has a lot to do with what they said they wanted for themselves. It could be for their friends, for their family, for themselves, or for their dreams. Take care. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. Over a million served. I'm out of here.